Hi everyone and welcome to Advanced Installer YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a .NET custom action for an installer package built with Advanced Installer. In order to create a custom action, you need the Advanced Installer extension for Visual Studio. Once installed, it will add the templates required to create the .NET custom action from Microsoft Visual Studio. The extension is available in the Visual Studio Marketplace. To install it, navigate to Extensions and select Manage Extensions. In the Online section, search for Advanced Installer for Visual Studio. This is the extension you need and as you can see I've already installed it. But all you have to do is download the extension, then close Visual Studio and reopen it to allow the extension to be installed. Once the extension is installed, let me show you how to create a custom action. In Visual Studio navigate to File and select New Project. From the list of templates, select the c -sharp Custom Action template or the c -sharp Custom Action .NET Framework template depending on your needs. The new project includes a sample that demonstrates how to get or set an MSI property value and how to log into an MSI installation. In addition, let's add a code to display the product code during installation. One more thing to note, by default the project targets .NET 7, but you can change the version if required. To generate the custom action, navigate to the build option from the menu bar and choose build solution. Upon successful build, a DLL file will be created. To locate the file, navigate to your project folder, then go to bin followed by either debug or release depending on your build configuration. Now, it's time to integrate the custom action into the installer. First, you need to set up a professional project or hire in Advanced Installer. I've already done it, so the next step is to add the DLL to the project as a temporary file. Go to the Files and Folders tab in Advanced Installer, right-click on the Application folder and select Add Temporary Files. In the Open dialog, select your DLL. Next, let's configure the custom action. For this, navigate to the Custom Actions page in Advanced Installer. Select the Add Custom Action tab and add the call method from .NET Assembly Custom Action. With the Custom Action selected, go to the Properties view. Use the formatted reference from the Assembly field to select your assembly from the temporary folder. In the Method field, input your method using the format namespace.class.method. Also, ensure the execution stage is set according to your specifications. Please be aware that the .NET must be included as a prerequisite in your installer package. Since my custom action targets .NET 7, I've included the .NET Runtime 7 x86. If you include the x64 version, ensure that the x64 option is selected in the custom action properties. Once you finish customizing your installer, build it and run it. you should see a prompt with the product code during installation. And now, here it is, so the custom action has been successfully integrated. For more guides and tutorials, check out the Advanced Installer YouTube channel or the Advanced Installer blog.